two, gotta get that blue. Three, four, edit it on the floor. Five, six, better say those clips. Seven, eight, looking for the crate. Nine, ten, going for the win. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to set up the RTX voice today. And actually, I messed up in recording this, so I had to redub it using the RTX voice because for some reason it wasn't on. It was a setting I had messed up. So we're just going to kind of roll with it, and hopefully everything just kind of works out. So, yeah, so the first thing I'm going to show you here is what it actually looks like. So this is the loading screen. It's pretty nice. Um, it kind of simulates that we have RTX audio. Um, and here right now, it's just, it's not wanting to start. Sometimes it happens. So this is what we get. We have my input, which that's my microphone. So whatever your input device is, that's what you're going to want. Now I have my output device set as default. The reason why is because I have like seven different things set up. So if I leave RTX voice as default, then through the audio devices on the computer, then I can check my correct output. Because otherwise, if not, I'm juggling all these different outputs through different software. Um, and it becomes a pain, like a huge pain. So I have the speakers, the default, and then I have Razer Surround Sound Pro, which I love it. It emulates, you know, 3D surround sound. It's great for movies, games. It's just awesome but it becomes a pain when you have rtx running because they both have to go through the default output so there's some things i have to continuously change but as long as i leave my output as default it's fine so if you're using anything like a mixing board output obs if you're running two or three things that make use of an application i would strongly recommend use that as default output now what you can also do is you can remove voice you know voice background noise from incoming audio so say your friend has a loud kid or something or you know there's just like a lot of background noise you can turn it on now for me since i'm running on an older system sometimes that makes a crash i just live with it but if you're on like windows 10 go for it like it's perfect So yeah, so with NVIDIA RTX, what they recommend is that you have Windows 10 and an RTX card. Now, if you have both of those, you're great. You just download it straight from the NVIDIA RTX setup guide, and that's straight on NVIDIA. So you can Google it, and you're good. But what happens if you have an older graphics card? You don't have Windows 10. What do you do? Because this is really cool software. You want to use it. I want you to be able to use it. Actually, you know, I'm on Windows 7. So, you know, I, I have older CAD software and certain CAD software that it just, it, it won't run. It won't run properly on Windows 10. And how do I know that? Because I tried it. I tried it on Windows 8 and Windows 10 and there's issues. It's just the way the world works sometimes. Uh, anyways, you can download it straight from NVIDIA either way. And if you try to install it and you don't have an RTX card, you'll get an issue. It'll say, we cannot install because you do not have an RTX card. It's literally just a line of code. NVIDIA put in there, check for RTX card. If no XTR, if there is no, it's literally a line that NVIDIA put in there. If it finds no RTX card, it just won't install. It'll just throw up an error message and that's it. Now, the awesome people over at Guru, they created, you know, a line and you can edit in there and change it and it'll install. It gets rid of the message. Now, I tried it that way. I could not get it to work. Uh, I tried it. I kept getting error messages and it was word for word exactly how it was supposed to be. So I don't know if my error messages were because it was on... Windows 7, but it, it just didn't work. But thankfully, we have Hack Tricks 2006 Lifesaver. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be able to do this. I wouldn't be able to make it sound this nice. Um, 
yeah so you know here it is you can download it there um, I've already downloaded it installed it so I'm not going to actually install mine again because I, I don't want to break mine um, there's people in the forum still to this day that they, they have issues sometimes and I'm like man I just want to be able to record my stuff so once I got mine set up I, I don't want to re-mess with it um, but yeah his download very safe if you download it through them I highly recommend having an ad blocker installed first and hopefully this doesn't have to be said but this is strictly for PC I don't know of a way yet to get this one to an Xbox now I guess maybe if you do your Xbox parties through a computer and you have Windows 10, but then at that point, especially for like Fortnite or something, just install Windows, you know, just install Fortnite on the computer. Um, but sometimes you don't want to do that. So I guess there's a way you could do that, but I'm not really going to look into that. Um, here we have all the different software that you can use it for. That This is basically, it says that it'll work for this. Um, the only one out of here that I really use is Discord. Uh, I need to set up OBS Studio, stream through it instead of GeForce, but, you know, for now, what I'm doing, it's fine. The main issue is certain audio software it just won't work for. So, for me, I like to edit audio in Adobe Audition or DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve the Fairlight, it won't pick it up. It will not pick up the input at all from RTX audio. It just won't. It'll read my mic, but it won't pick up the input. Don't know why. It just it won't. Um, Adobe Audition, same issue. It just will not pick it up. I can set it as the input in the preferences, and it won't pick it up. Uh, I also use Adobe, Aud not Adobe, but I also use Audacity. Picks it up just fine. So here we're going to click on it, show you. It's only 400 megabytes. It's less than 400. I'm just rounding up. So I'm, I'll download it, but I'm not going to install it just because I already have this all set up. I don't want to break my stuff. Um, if I had another setup running for gaming I would probably just install it on that one and just to show you but it's really just an install you know run it as administrator when you install it and it it basically once it's done it'll just ask this um you know what your input your outputs are but one thing you want to be sure of is once you're done with that you're going to want to look up how to add a delay to scheduled tasks now you can either do that or you can just turn off that the program starts on startup now the reason is what happens is whenever your computer turns on it will immediately try to start the RTX voice but the driver for it will not have loaded yet so you're basically trying to load something that doesn't exist yet so the application will get an error every time um, I avoid that by putting a delay in I think mine's like three or four minutes it's fine no big deal but if you're not aware of that you can load it up and it's like oh why is this an issue and real quick I just wanted to go over so people have reported them getting this to work from you know 700 series cards to the 1080s to some of the Titans I'm running a, a GTX 1080 no Mine's a 1070, yeah, GTX 1070, and it works just fine. That's eight gig card, it's fine. Um, you know, there may be issues on like two gig cards. I don't know. Um, some people say there are, some people say there aren't. But yeah, so the Guru 3D is a great place, especially if you want RTX like specific questions and things. Um, there's an NVIDIA forums for like support but it's basically other nvidia users and sometimes you don't really get answers sometimes you do but from the most part i've been on there and i'm just trying to help other people with certain issues that they have and a lot of it just stems from using rtx in streaming software um that's kind of the biggest thing that we've kind of seen is that there's just issues with that that sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't um 
if you have multiple things running like I always will have my discord running uh, the streaming software and the game running so there's three applications accessing the mic setup and what some people are running into is they'll have memory leaks and it'll just crash I run into that sometimes and that's actually probably why it stopped working originally whenever I was recording the video um, it was actually out before I started recording so since I didn't reset the recording it didn't pick up it, it didn't pick up that there was a different audio device so here we'll get into actually so after you've got delay set up you've got RTX installed how do we get this into Fortnite how sometimes RTX voice will default and it'll set its speaker to default you never want that it won't actually work with it set to default sometimes it will pop up with a warning message saying hey I can't work the speaker set to default and on your recordings you can always check your default input and the RTX voice they should both be going at the same time and here we can see they both work just fine so there's not a big issue so right now I have no audio on any of those and that's simply due to me having three different audio setups so what I have to do is I have to reset my Razer surround sound as default and then I have to leave that and then put the default communication device back on my speakers now the reason why I have to do that is if I don't do that and I join a party sometimes the party audio won't come through like it'll show up that they're talking but I won't be able to hear them so the only way around that is to have my default device and my default communication device split and that allows me to keep my surround sound on because if I set the speakers as my default device I lose the emulated 3D surround sound audio Now, once we're in here, this is actually really easy to set up. Um, once you have it installed, the delay potential issue fixed, just go into your settings, click your audio, and you scroll down to your voice chat. And the main ones we are looking at is the voice chat input and the voice chat output. For your input, it always will need to be on the RTX background noise. Um, and then the NVIDIA RTX voice, I can't remember which one it actually calls it because I renamed it but it's one of those um, and your output that's totally going to be set up dependent that's totally going to be set up dependent so if you have a mixer board if you're going to OBS if you're going to headsets and if you're going to headsets a splitter or anything you're going to need to be able to set that up and identify which one that is and what I advise is you set it up in the game. You don't mess with your externals to get the sound. Because once you get your in-game set up with sound working, then you mess with the externals. And the external, like the very last link in the audio chain, that's what you may have to change every once in a while once you switch applications. Um, because before, whenever I didn't have this, you know, the RTX set to default device and all of this, I would come in and I would have to continuously switch everything and it would be like 20 minutes to figure out which audio and it was so annoying and I'm like no there's got to be an easier way and this is the easier way you set it RTX audio default device on the output and you control your main output through the sound devices and you, you know you set your game up for the same output It really doesn't, to me at least, doesn't draw too much on the CPU. You know, I have a CPU that's from like 2013. It's an AMD FX 8350. You know, all this hardware is old. The only thing that's newer, it's graphics card and solid state drives. That's it. So, you know, if you've got a very similar system and you're like, man, I can't do that. This is perfect because you can. Um, now laptops, haven't ran this on laptops, so I don't know you know the audio 
side of it i don't know how much it'll work i don't know how often it'll crash you know the stability you have to remember this program still in beta it's only been out barely a month and a half now i believe i believe it came out maybe april 14th something like that so it's, it's not very old yet i'm gonna have links for the support forums um the download uh some videos of people using it because like i said in the other video where i was demoing it you know there's people that run this software and they'll have people vacuuming behind them and, and it, it kills it but the downside like i showed you know it does hit a point where it starts chopping off audio and it just sounds a little funny now i still have that issue but that's because sometimes i speak so low um but sometimes that's because i speak so low or too fast or something and it just kind of messes up but it is what it is and i hope it helped Good luck on your next daily dub. If you have any questions, you know, leave them in the comment section. If you think this helped, if you've got somebody that you know that plays on PC that you're like, oh, this would help with your setup, show them the video or just explain to them how to do it. Because if you explain to them how to do it, it's a win-win for everybody. All right, thank you. Thank you, everybody. If you know if you want to see more videos like this of certain setups because i haven't even talked about like my gaming setup like my controller what i use um this is my only my second season so there's a lot of stuff going on but i will keep making videos and good luck on your next daily dub